Hi, welcome to I Love the Library. I'm Mary Haney, director of the Detroit Lakes Public Library. I'm so glad you decided to join us today because we have a wonderful treat in store. Here at the library, we often talk about what we're reading together as staff. So I'm going to ask a couple of our staff members what they're reading. And we'll start with Karen. This is Karen. Can you tell us what you've been reading lately, Karen? Yes, Mary. Good morning. I'm Karen. And I am currently in the middle of reading the book entitled From Seed to Skillet. It's written by uh, Jimmy Williams and co-authored by Susan Heger. I'm finding it very interesting and it's very soothing to read in that it's written in the first person style. Uh, this author is giving us stories about as a child when he was gardening with his grandmother and learning her techniques and how he carried with him for years jars of seeds such as the Goose Creek tomato, the speckled butter bean, and the Christmas lima bean from his grandmother until finally he had a little piece of property himself that he could plant these in. It's also an instructional book in that he not only tells you how to garden, but also how to build raised beds and the plans for them. And no matter what type of gardener you are, at what level, be you an avid gardener, uh, a beginner, or maybe you're just starting out and haven't gardened at all, he will speak to that level of gardening. And I'd like to share with you uh, a quote from another author on this book, and his name is Michael Polin. And I think that you'll also find his books great as I did. They are The Omnivore's Dilemma and In Defense of Food. And he says, as Americans head back to the kitchen garden in record numbers, they soon find themselves in need of a guiding hand and a trusted coach. Jimmy Williams and Susan Heger are as fine a coaching team as a vegetable gardener could wish for. Steeped in their long experience and deep horticultural knowledge from seed to skillet is a beautiful and beautifully written book, certain to delight as much as it is to instruct. And I found this book not only instructional, but inspiring. And I thought it was thought provoking and of all the possibilities that lie just in a seed. So happy gardening. Come on into the library and check out our other gardening books. Thank you, Karen. Okay, next up is Rhea. Rhea, what have you been reading lately? I just finished a book entitled The Killing of Crazy Horse by Thomas Powers. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and it is a very interesting book covering the history of Crazy Horse. He speaks about the killing of Crazy Horse and has been quoted by many reviewers as being the most unopinionated history of Crazy Horse, not giving just the Indian side or just the white side, but both sides. And the reason I had to show the paper like this is because our current copy is checked out. One of the books that he used that informed him and helped him write this book and gave him the insight to do it was a book we do have on hand called The Killing of Crazy, Chief Crazy Horse. And again, it speaks from all directions, the white direction and the Indian direction of what happened to the killing of Chief Crazy Horse. And it is a very interesting book on the Battle of Custer and all of the surrounding things that w went on with the Black Hills and I highly recommend it as if you're interested in the history of our West. Thank you. Okay, thanks Rhea. Well, and that just leaves enough time for me to tell you I've been reading a nook. Well, books on a nook, nook books. I, this is a, a colored nook and one of the things that I read on it was Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth, 896 pages. Believe me, this is a lot lighter than even the paperback version of, of Pillars of the Earth. So if you're looking for something new to read or something old to read, come in the library. We'd be happy to help you find something for you to share with your friends to talk about.